Okay, so here's a slide similar to what you have, and I just want to walk through a little bit of what that text, uh, working with some of those text and state changes would look like. So this is just a similar image of a computer that I brought in. I'm going to go ahead and lock that layer just to prevent me from uh, moving anything. I'm going to insert a text box. So insert, and this is obviously similar to what you had. Control V to paste, and let me just move it down a little bit, okay? So in your example, you wanted to have another text box that would uh, replace this one, right? So when you le learn to click the button, they would actually see a different text box. So a couple ways to go about doing this. Um, one way would just to be use states, right? So this is my first state, and then I will put some uh, text on the uh, second state. So here's what that looks like. This is right here, just a, a, a block, uh, block of text. Come down here in the states, and I'm gonna choose edit states. And let me just create a new state right here, and I'll call this one part two, as in the second part of the text. You can name it anything you want, but I'll just call it part two. Click add. So it looks like it pretty much duplicates that text. Well, I can select all of this, control A and control V, and just replace it. Now, I'm gonna come back over here and see what size I had, articulate 24. So let me make sure that I also make that articulate 24. And maybe that's, is that bold or not? Right, so there's that text and that text. So really we have one object of text and I'll just call this instructions. But I also have another part of this that I can show um, th uh, really when the learner clicks an object or it can actually be um, triggered a lot of different ways where the timeline starts or something else happens. In this case you want just a button. So I'll do insert button and there's a button right there, continue. So what I wanna do now is assign a trigger that says when you click this button, change the state of this text to part two text. We do that really easily by coming over to the triggers panel and I'll select my button and we'll just add a new trigger. So the action we wanna do is change a state. So we're gonna change a state of what? And you can see as I click the object here, I can actually select really anything on my slide, but I wanna change the state of instructions. So there's instructions to state. Right now, here's the custom state I just created called part two. And again, if you named it anything else, it would, it would be available here under the custom. And then you have your built-in states such as hidden and hover and all those, but really those don't apply in this case. You just wanna change it to part two. When I click the button I just inserted, click okay. And let's preview this slide. There's our text, I click continue, and now I have the updated text. So there's a couple other ways we'll do it, and I'll show you another one in the next lesson, but uh, really that's how you can work with state changes for your intro text.